just about done with chapter 3. We have a brand new article 369 and then we're going to talk about another brand new article 371 in the next video. So this one is article 369 insulated bus pipe slash tubular covered conductors. This is an interesting one. Let's take a peek at what it looks like. So 369.1 the scope of the article new article for insulated bus pipe slash tubular covered conductors was created. All right, now you guys know me, I, I like to use a lot of photographs in my classes and my videos. Um, I don't have a real photograph of this because it, it, it's brand new. I mean, I, I don't even know that you can actually buy this yet. So 369 says, look, this article covers insulated bus pipe. And then there's a note saying it's also called uh, tubular covered conductors. Okay, so the idea here is, look, you're not going to buy this at Lowe's and Home Depot. You're not going to finish your basement with this. You're not going to wire a house. You're not even going to wire uh, a, a very, very large commercial building. This is going to be strictly like industrial or very, very large commercial where you need to move a lot of power from point A to point B. So this is probably medium voltage and it's several thousand amps. And one of the difficulties with medium voltage conductors, when we talk about shielded conductors, is the bending radius. Uh, as you can imagine, you can't just take a, you know, a wire that's as big as your wrist that has a metal braid or metal shield around it, you can't just take it and tie it into a pretzel. When you change direction with this stuff, it's gotta be a very, very broad sweeping change of direction which means it takes up a lot of real estate when you're trying to change directions. So you need a big room to make a big bend. Well, as you can see in the drawing here, this stuff has kind of a hinge in the middle of it. So you've got uh, bus bars inside of that, and then inside they, they bolt together, and you can actually change direction in a straight 90 degree angle like that. Let me show you an example of something that's similar to this product, but much, much bigger. This is at a power plant where I teach every year. And boy, the first time you see this, you, you just, it absolutely just blows your mind. So these are phase A, phase B, and phase C at the power plant. So <laughs> this is uh, in, inside the building. They have a generator, a turbine, uh, that, that creates 26,000 volts, 22,000 amps. And it sends it inside the building out to the outdoor transformer. How do you run 26,000 volts and 22,000 amps in a building? Right? What size of wire and, and what type of insulation? Well, obviously, you, you're going to have to be very creative for that. And what they use is a product like this. I think this is called isophase. And yeah, this is phase A. That's phase B. That's phase C. I mean, you, you can't even wrap your arms around it. It's so big. And then coming into the top of it, they actually pump air into it, you know, air conditioned, cooled air to uh, to increase the ampacity. You know, I mean, the 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 main enemy with a conductor, of course, is heat. So we cool it down that way, and we can even put more ampacity than than it was originally designed for without the air conditioning inserted into it. So this is a very 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 large version of what I think insulated bus pipe is going to look like. So right now. I don't believe that the product standard is complete for insulated bus pipe. If not, it's very close. So the way it starts out with product standards, skipping a lot of steps, is we'll come up with kind of an outline, uh, an outline of investigation before there's a product standard. So we'll, we'll come up with the idea and we'll say, okay, we think um, insulated bus pipe should do this, this, and this, and if it does that, it should be safe, and we'll, we'll create tests for it and different things. And we'll create the outline of investigation and then we'll get more people involved and we'll discuss it more and vote on it and it'll go through the ANSI process and become a product standard. Right now, I don't think that you can get this because I don't think there's a product standard quite ready for it, but it will be soon. It will be ready very, very soon. And that's going to be the same thing with our next product in the next video, which is Article 371. So I hope to see you on that video. We'll see you here in a bit. Thanks.